So ladies and gentlemen, today we will discuss all career secrets just from the Nakshatra Padas, right? Or maybe not. <laughs> because if somebody is telling you we will discuss career only from D1 or only D9 or only D10, whenever you see the word only, you need to understand there's something wrong there. Because not only career, Every area of life has to be decided by seeing all astrological principles. Period. You may not like to hear this, but that's the truth. Which means your D1, D9, D10, your nakshatras and today's topic nakshatra padas and your D60 chart, your dashas, your transits, your astakvarga, everything has to be seen. So there is no like, you know, magic secret to just predict using your D1, D10 or for that matter, Nakshatra Padas. But if I assume that you have looked at your overall chart and you have some idea, you have seen your Lagna Lord, your Sun, Moon, your 10th house, your 10th Lord, your D9, your D10, you have done the basic preliminary career analysis and now you want to get concrete answers, then you should go and enter Nakshatra Padas, right? So we know what Nakshatra Padas are. So, every nakshatra has four padas, as you know. <clears throat> so, therefore, among the ten nakshatras that you have. Now, why ten? Because you have nine planets. And if I assume all the nine planets are in different nakshatras. And the tenth, which is your ascendant. And if I assume if that also is in a different nakshatra, right? So, then you have ten nakshatras, which means... All these 10 nakshatras will be in a particular nakshatra pada. It is in the either in the first pada, second pada, third pada, fourth pada. So you need to understand what these padas are and how can you use them in predicting. All right. So that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. And if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe. And for personalized horoscope consultations regarding your profession, marriage, or spiritual life, or your health, you can go to my website down below, exoticastrology.in. And I also have the Massive Wealth webinar coming up on 21st of December. If you want to join, you can go to my community page. The first post you see will be related to that, where we will see how you can get Massive Wealth. Or before that, is Massive Wealth destined in your chart? If yes, how will you get it? When will you get it? From where? All right? So, please go to the YouTube community page and you can see the webinar there. Now, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Because today, we are discussing Nakshatra Padas, which are related to Lord Narayan himself. Okay, so therefore, the four Padas indicate Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Very, very, very important. Very important. Very important. Because, see, these, these Nakshatra Padas are like the Purusharthas. Okay, so therefore, these so, if a particular planet is in a particular nakshatra pada, like for example, suppose your 10th lord is in the first pada of any nakshatra, doesn't matter, Ashwini, Revati, Purva, Falguni, Rohini, Pushya, does not matter, any nakshatra it is. So, if your 10th lord is in first pada, any nakshatra, don't see the nakshatra, then it means you cannot work without self-inspiration now what is self-inspiration self-inspiration means you believe for a cause and you are working for that cause if that is not there then uh, you can you know go and do masters in mit or whatever any university <clears throat> or you can be in your own country you can do business whatever but you won't be happy in life why because the first pada of any nakshatra is the it's like the origin original uh, energy it's like the origin of that nakshatra is in the first pada because the first pada asks this question it, it deals with this question why why are you doing something so for example if your 10th lot is in first pada your mind will constantly keep asking why are you doing this why are you doing this why are you doing this why am i doing this is this required is this good for me so if you do not have the answers to all these questions, then it's very difficult for you to continue in that work for a very long time. You know, like 10 years, 20 years, what to speak of that nowadays, you know, for even 2-3 years, it's very difficult. So, if 
you have planets in uh, your prominent planets for career now which are the prominent planets for career the lagna lord you have the second lord the sixth lord 10th lord and the 11th lord these five these five planets sometimes uh, one of the the two of these houses may be ruled by the same planet so let's assume all five are different so these five planets so in general it will be around four okay because you will have the same planet ruling now one of the two houses of these five or if you want to take the Karakas then Sun, Saturn, Mercury but as of now let's stick to these five planets Lagna Lord, 2nd Lord, 6th Lord, 10th Lord, 11th Lord so if these five planets are so among the five if at least two at the least if two are placed in the first pada of any nakshatra you cannot do things which you don't like or which you don't believe in so suppose you are working in a company and you don't identify with that company's value you know purpose it's a matter of time either uh, you will leave the company or you will work in such a terrible way that they'll fire you okay so therefore the first pada will always deal with inspiration if you are not inspired don't be in that okay now then we have the second pada second pada is very 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 important the second pada will always inspire you to ask this question how am i going to, going to do something so for example if your uh, lagna lord second lord sixth lord tenth lord eleventh lord if like you know two or three of these planets if they are suppose in the second pada then you will always ask this question okay this has been told to me but how do i do this how do i achieve the goal so it's like saying you you know what you should do but your aim will be to see how to do it so the practical implementation part is very important because and if you have that if in your chart among these five planets, majority of these, you know, like three or four planets are in the second pada of any nakshatra. <laughs> then you should invest less time in doing, you know, like certifications, training, learning and all this. You should invest more time in practical projects and, you know, practical application. Otherwise, you will, you will feel that you are lost. You will feel you have so much information, but there's no use of that information you are not able to make any sense of it okay and then we have the third pada the third pada always deals with this question how can i expand this because the third pada has to do with why you what does why you do it expands so for example if you are having among these five planets your majority planets are in a uh, third pada of any nakshatra then you can go into things like uh, for example you know sales you can go to marketing you can also go to like uh, scale scalability you know scaling scale up and all this so wherever you can expand that is where you should go so suppose you are the ceo of a company and you already have one project so in that project the inspiration is clear the first pada shows inspiration why you are doing something and the second pada shows how you are doing it so these are known now the third pada will tell you how to expand it so then if you have you know employees and among your employees there's one employee uh, who has you know like among these five planets uh, he or she has majority planets in the third pada then you know that this person can now expand because this person does not care much about why should i do something how should i do something the person only cares about how should I expand, okay? And most importantly, the fourth pada, the fourth pada is very important because it tells you what's next. So I did something, I, I wanted to do something first pada, I did something and now I'm expanding, but what's next? So if you have prominent planets in fourth pada of nakshatras, then you can be a great researcher because you are never satisfied because moksha means things are ending so you always keep feeling this is ending you know what should i do should i stay with this or should i do something else so if you kind of keep feeling that you know uh, you are you need to do something else you need to invent something 
then then it's best that you stay in careers where you know there's like constant uh, evolution required constant upgradation you know change and all this or in general it could be research or anything like that okay because then what happens you will have this fire inside of you because this this fourth pada will inspire you to uh, always look for the next opportunity so therefore if you are a boss and you are hiring somebody and somebody has too many planets in four fourth pada of nakshatras then uh, they can be good researchers but at the same time you have to be aware that this person may leave the company and go to the next okay so this is also one probability but now you have seen all this and you you may be wondering okay yeah right so we can predict using nakshatra padas alone right so why do we need anything else well no uh, not uh, not like that so you see jyotish is all about collecting clues so once you collect the clues from the nakshatra padas then you know what you should do then now you should see what is the next step so then the next step is to analyze your d10 chart in the detail also you have nakshatras and uh, maybe there are nakshatra padas also which you can get in some softwares but uh, i am not talking of nakshatra padas of d10 okay so first you have seen in d1 that itself is sufficient then you go to the d10 so in the d10 if uh, if you if you have prominent planets so suppose in the d1 you saw you know among these five planets like majority planets are in uh, the first pada so then it's like you know you are working because of inspiration okay so now if in the d10 chart your third house seventh house eleventh house these three are very prominent so then it means you will be doing things which you are inspired by but you will also be into you know marketing sales and negotiation uh, like deals and contracts licensing and all this because your literal work will consist of the third house seventh house eleventh house okay so that is how you know and then uh, you have to go to your navamsha in the navamsha you have to see in your trines the first fifth ninth what kind of talents do you have by birth because uh, if you already have the talents by birth then it's a great opportunity for you to uh, get things done easily otherwise you have to keep you know slogging hogging <laughs> and that is why some people get things done very quick why because they already know it from their previous lifetimes because that is shown in their d9 the navamsha chart so therefore once you have seen these nakshatra padas please go to your d10 and check your d9 and now the most important thing if you ignore this that's it end of the story please check your mahadasha antardasha so your mahadasha is suppose of you know venus mahadasha for example venus suppose is in you know the first pada of a particular nakshatra okay and then during that dasha you might feel that you know you are you you are unable to work because you are not inspired by the vision by the motive okay so therefore it can temporarily also change your mind it can happen and then the antar dasha of course so therefore please uh, see and also the transit so for example when saturn is transiting in first pada second pada third pada fourth pada of in a particular nakshatra so all these things will matter okay so first always the overall chart you know in that you see the second house sixth house tenth house eleventh house and the lagna lord of course so these five planets then your uh, d10 chart then your d9 chart for the talents and your dashas and then if required you can use transits all right so i hope this gave you a good idea in regards to how to use nakshatra padas to help them in predicting your career not just you know predict just by using nakshatra padas okay that's a scam that doesn't work all right so don't worry you can use them and it will give you fantastic results all right thank you so much for your patience don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and for personalized consultations regarding your career wealth name fame power position authority you can always go to my website down in the description section www.exoticastrology.in or you can join my uh, webinar on 21st december you can see it in the community page the first post there all right 
God is there with you all the time. Just look him and he will help you identify your nakshatra padas. Jai Siala. Oops, maybe that astro itself will do it. Ha, 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 ha.